What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create some audio reactive waveforms in any custom shape in Adobe After Effects. Before we get started with this tutorial, I'd just like to say if you're not following along on social media, please go follow me at Justin Odisho on Instagram and Twitter. It's the best place to reach out to me, see behind the scenes, and keep in touch with what I'm doing personally. So this is that project that you guys saw the example of in the beginning, and I just used a bunch of different examples of different shapes from a straight line to a letter square circle star and i just made them cut to the beat kind of like that but let's just start by creating a new composition or a new project wherever you want i'm just going to make it 1920 by 1080 with a black background and this is more like what you'd be starting with so first i'm going to go to layer new solid i'll just have a solid black background so you can see what's going on and then i'm also going to drag in whatever audio clip or song or speaking that i want so that we can have some audio to react to. So in my case, I'm just gonna use this song, this MP3 here, and I'm just gonna leave that there for us to work with. Next, I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid, create another new solid. We'll call this one Waveform, just to be organized, but you don't have to call it any, anything. And then I'm gonna go to Effect, Generate, and there's actually two different ones that you can choose. You can choose Audio Spectrum or Audio Waveform. They work a little bit differently, but the tutorial is the same either way. And for the audio layer, this is where you want to choose the MP3 or the audio, whatever audio track you have, that's going to make it react to that audio. So in this case, it's going to react to the beat of that song. And there's a couple aesthetic choices that you can make in the effects control panel, such as the display. So instead of analog lines, you can do digital. That's how I had it. So it's like a bunch of digital lines. I think that looks cool. And then you can also choose some different things like left ear, right ear, both ears, colors, thickness, all those are up to you. So if we wanted to make it, let's say a nice blue color, we can make the inside blue, maybe the outside a little bit of a greenish blue, give it that cool futuristic vibe. But the most important part is how do we get this straight line to be a custom shape? So here's where we need to start working with different shape layers. So just for a very generic example, if we wanted to turn this line into a star, Let's right click on this waveform, go to mask and create a new mask. This is going to create a new mask by default. It's going to be the entire composition. But if I go to the top and I grab my star tool or any of these tools, I can click and drag out a new mask in the shape of this. So if I hold shift, it'll be more perfectly shaped. And if I look at my actual layer, I have two masks now. Uh, and the second mask is the star. You can see by the color coordination what it is. And now when I go to path, I can choose to set the path of this waveform to be the path of that mask. And boom, we have a star shaped waveform. Pretty cool. Just to show you what the difference would be between a waveform and a spectrum, I've actually created a spectrum next to it. So you can just see which one you might think looks better. But you can see on the spectrum is on the left. It's a little bit more static on the path and the lines just move up and down. Whereas uh, on the waveform, the entire line kind of wiggles and wobbles. And you have different visual display options for each of these settings. So keep that in mind. But let's continue on by talking about how I got some of those different shapes. This was a star. That's basically how you create it. But how do you do the same thing for, let's say, a letter, right? So that's a star. You can do the same thing with a circle, square, any, any sided polygon. But if we want to create a letter, let's grab our text tool. Let's type out whatever letter we want for me, J, Justin. And I'll right click on the shape and click create masks from text. We've got a mask of the J now and I can actually just hide this. And then whenever I'm on my waveform setting, instead of choosing mask two, let's actually copy and paste this J mask onto the waveform and choose mask J, right? You can name the masks, whatever you want. And now we've got our own shape that goes along with the letter. So another cool play on it. So there's the letter, but how would you do even a more custom shape that doesn't rely on text or the presets? Well, you can make sure you're highlighted on your mask section, and then you can grab your pen tool and make whatever shape you want. And that will automatically set that to be a mask. And now we have our own custom mask or line, and we can just set the waveform to be that one. So here's another one, it's kind of like a not very good infinity sign, but it follows exactly the path that we wanted. 
Now, lastly, how did I get that Nike logo that you saw in the beginning? I didn't draw that out perfectly by hand. There's another cool trick that you can do to create paths from shapes. So let's say I got a PNG file and it's a black and white PNG file. I'll show you. How do I turn this into a shape? And there's a cool feature in After Effects that's similar to how we turn the text into a shape. We can highlight this layer, go to layer and choose this setting called auto trace. Now this is going to work based on channels. So this is using the alpha channel, which is everything. And if there is a solid clear distinction between black and white, as like there is in this image, there's a solid outline going on. There's not a bunch of patterns and fuzziness. This is the perfect working example. I can choose to select this current frame and create a, a trace a mask out of it. So I'll use the alpha channel. You can set the tolerance and threshold if you need to, but this is a pretty simple example. Press OK and it'll automatically create a new shape that's been traced from that and it fills in the points as needed. So we've got a pretty good Nike logo shape now and we can take this same mask that it just created, press Command C and paste it along with all those other masks. And then I'm going to hide or get rid of these ones. And now we have another new mask. We do want to make sure to change it from difference because now it's interacting with all those others, which could be cool, but I'm going to set it to add mode. And that way it's working on its own. I'm actually going to delete these other masks so we don't have any issues. And I'm also going to highlight all of these and press command T to transform them and just kind of drag them inward while holding shift and move it so that we don't cut off any of the edges, especially giving them room to bounce and not get cut off. And now we have that shape laid in there. I can close this layer that we were working on. And instead of using the shape, we're going to set the waveform in the effects control panel for the path to be that mask. Now you see how I was talking about when it bounces, things are getting a little bit cut off. That is why I'm just going to add a new mask and it'll cover the entire section. Just set it to add so that we're not accidentally cutting anything off. That's a good solution there. Also, when you auto trace, it'll create one keyframe there on the mask path. It's not doing anything by being there, but you can just turn it off. It's not necessary. And those are some different examples of how to create some custom shape audio waveforms in After Effects. So play around with it, have fun. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like below. If you have a question about it or you're getting confused, there's a lot of different ways you might mess up. Feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment below or hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I'll try to help you out and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my playlist for more and I'll see you in the next one.